Right then, this is Sharky from Sharkade. Now, before I get into today's video, I've just got to um, point something out. Um, the dates between the 2nd and the 10th um, of October, the um, emails on the website had gone down. Um, so if you've tried to contact us between those dates, um, I wouldn't have got those emails through. So I am not ignoring you. It's um, I just haven't got those emails through. The email hosting on the website had completely gone down. Um, so I've had to change the email address. Now the new email email address is dean at sharkade.co.uk. That's sharkade without the hyphen. So that's dean at sharkade.co.uk. If you would like to re-forward your emails or contact um, information over from your previous emails to my new email address, I'll pick up those um, inquiries as soon as I can. Um, now then, I've been going through um, and adding some more new cool stuff to the 16 terabyte hyperspin build. Now the 16 terabyte drive is almost full. I want to keep um, a few more gig for a couple of new games I'm expecting to be released. So I'm keeping that space for some newer titles. But I'm gonna today I'm going to show off some um, cool new stuff I've been adding. Now then. So, I've recently gone through and tested a ton of Nintendo Switch games. Um, a lot of the stuff seems to be working flawlessly. There's one or two games that don't emulate 100%. Um, aren't amazing, but they work really quite well. Um, this theme here, I just downloaded this theme from one of the Hyperspin um, websites and then the media and stuff like that i downloaded that then i've went and created the media art for the wheel art and got some trailers for those background videos now the module that was um for the yuzu is it yuzu emulator the module for that was outdated now there's an updated version of yuzu um and as far as i'm aware i couldn't find a new uh, module for the um rocket launcher so i've had to edit an old one and get any errors out of that old one working with the new one um also i'm not sure if i've seen anyone yet have all the different switch um type games load which is the xci the ns c or p or and the other three or four um file types that is on there now the nand games load on this fine and all the other um xci files and stuff like that nsp is it nsp files all load in and out exit perfectly and um, everything seems so far to be working perfectly so let's go ahead and check out what we've added So the first game on the list is Cruising Blast. Now this is a pretty cool um, arcade style racer. Um, really, really fun. I've had a bit of um, gameplay on that. Works extremely well. Works flawlessly. Um, next game is Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. Now this looks beautiful on the Switch version, but there is a Nintendo Wii version that may run a bit better um, than this one. Though this does run pretty well, um, I do think the Wii U um, version runs that little bit better. Oh. Now we have Horizon Chase Turbo. This is another game that works um, straight off the bat, no messing it on. Another like outrun style game. Then we have High Rule Warriors: Age of Calamity. Now this works pretty well. Um, I'm not sure if it's maybe the shaders need building, the shader cache needs building, but you get one or two um, game glitches, but it's nothing game breaking, and it works um, really well also. <coughs> Then we have Kirby Fighters 2. Now, I had a quick go of this game. I kind of say I played a lot of it. Um, it's just like a cheap version of Smash Bros. Um, but it, it's a pretty cool game. Um, it is what it is. Um, and it seemed to work well with hardly any stutters. Then we have Kirby 
star allies now like i say another game i didn't really play a lot of i just checked to see if it loaded um and played well it seems to play really good now mario golf super rush now i had one or two issues with this game it loaded in okay once or twice but i have had um the odd crash and glitch on the game so i am going to take a look at that if it doesn't work f perfectly i am just going to remove the game but i have played it once or twice but i have had a few game crashes on this game and mario kart the Del 8 deluxe to be honest i do have it on the wii u um i noticed um sometimes on the main menu it wouldn't go through to the gameplay so i might take a second look at that if not i can always redirect um mario kart 8 deluxe over to the one on the wii u anyways and just have it load as a switch game um metaloid origin um i actually thought this was metroid and um, when i downloaded the game um, i thought it was metroid it's actually metaloid um pretty pretty cool game it is what it is works really well now we have metroid dread now um i believe this is another new title that's just dropped um and this i've got to say works really well little frame stutters now and again but i think that's due to um shared cache and stuff like that and um, building up on the game but other than that it works great um miss explosion man not a game seems to work really good um straight off the bat now we have pokemon snap uh not a game works great um, not my type of game, but it works really well. Um, Paper Mario the Origami King. Now, I think I had a few glitches um, and stutters on that game. But other than that, the game seemed to work um, pretty good. Now, Pokemon Sword and Shield. Now, I believe I have two Sword and Shields on here. I will, might have to rename them because they might not load. But um, I'll, I'll have to name one sword in the other shield. Um, but the game works great. Um, both games work great. I think there may be a slight variant of the two of the same game. I'm really, really not sure. Um, but I've completed this game. This game works flawlessly. I've actually got all the um, extra cheat stuff on the drive as well for this game. So you can um, have unlimited berries and stuff like that. For this um but that's been completed um and it, it worked really well from start to finish no issues whatsoever so we have pokemon shield so like i say i'll rename those titles um because they might not load if i try and load them now but i'll i'll see if they load in a second so we have rayman legends um i'm not sure if i've tested this game yet um as far as I'm aware, it does work well, but I'll, I'll test it anyways. If not, I can always direct it, redirect it to the PC version. The PC version is going to be better anyways. Sonic Colors Ultimate. Now, this works okay. A um, couple of little stutters now and again, um, but it's more than playable. Space Invaders works flawlessly. No issues with that. Splatoon 2. Now, when I was testing this game, um, I couldn't figure out how to look up and down. I do have it um, configured with the Xbox 360 controller, but so for some reason I couldn't look up and down. I could just only shoot side to side. Um, I'm not sure if that's part of the game or what, but um, I'll, I'll re-look at that. Now we have Super Mario 3D World and Bowser's Fury. Now both work really well. Um, once the shader cache is built up on that, um, it works works great. Mario Maker 2, um, played that, work, works great. No issues, no stutters, anything like that. Now Super Mario Odyssey, I had a little um, few stutters and stuff on this game. Um, but other than that, it does work really good. Um, Super Mario Party, another game that works just works um super smash brothers now you do get um now and again a bit of stuttering um but other than that it works great um tetris 99 works flawlessly 
Um, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I haven't done much testing on this, but as I've tested it on my hardware, it works. Just works. Um, I haven't done anything really to the game to knock it up to high resolutions or anything like that. I've just had it the way it is with the DLC, I think, or the extra bits and pieces. But as I say, it what I've tested on it seems to work great. Now we have Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. Now I had to do a few things to this game. Um, it wouldn't work through the NVIDIA settings. I had to put it through Vulcan. But it does work. Um, there's a little bit glitchiness um, in it at times. But like I say, it doesn't spoil the gameplay. The Takeover. Now, <clears throat> I have the PC version of this. But for some reason, I do like the looks of this version. This version just works really well. Uh, off the bat, it looks clean and crisp. Um, I don't know if it's just an updated version to what I have. Um, but it, it works and it works well. Now, Yoshi's Crafted World. Um, I believe there's a few maybe slow slowdowns within the game. But other than that, um, it works. Now, there is one... I haven't seen on this list and I don't know why I haven't seen it. Yeah, so I'm going to take a look why it's not on the menu, but I do have Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Now, Marvel vs. Capcom... No, not Marvel vs. Capcom 3, sorry. Um, Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3. Um, that, that works. Doesn't work amazing. There's some glitches in the cutscenes, um, but the gameplay is all right. It's playable, and um, it's probably one of the most poor games of the collection. Um, but it does work, and it is playable. Um, and if you like me and you like your Marvel Ultimate Alliance games, it's a really cool game. So I wanted to just keep it on there. So let's have a look at one or two games. So let's head up to... Let's head to Smash Brothers. The ultimate showdown is almost here.
Right, so we'll just quit out of that. And then we'll go up to... Let's try a bit of cruise and blast. Now, if you had the old module around this part of the game, the game would crash. Wait, the rocket launcher would crash, and um, you would get an error. So, as you can see, straight into the game.
Invaders Extreme. Stage 1A. Raid up. Space Invaders Extreme. Vanessa? Vanessa?
Uploading data. So, you've accessed the network's ironic walk that I have visited. The ship you made there are one. Well, it looks like the <coughs> um, sword and shield loads. Um, so I'll just give it a quick test. What I'll do though is I'll go back and change the um, title of the um, game so it comes up with sword and then shield. So it's two different separate games. But as you can see, the games seem to load pretty well. They seem to play pretty well. Um, and everything's good so far. Um, like I said, I did this. So I do have a ton of stuff in my bag. Um, master balls and stuff like that. I'm all maxed out on all the bits and pieces. And, um, but this is a fresh new game as well, so because I've completed it, I shouldn't have any of me Pokemon that now, which I had all the um, bosses and stuff like that. I had all all the extra Pokemon. Um, yeah, works pretty well.
Right, I'll not get too far into the gameplay and make this video any longer. And um, that loads great. Um, let's let's try something else. Let's try Breath of the Wild. I know some of these games take a while to load and stuff, so um, and get into the gameplay. But I'll just try Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Open your eyes. Wake up, Link. Is a sheet of cake. Take it. It will help guide you after your long slumber. Right, yeah, I don't really want to get too far into the gameplay of this. Um, it's just going to take too long. And I have design work I've got to do and stuff. So I'm likely just going to end the video. In a moment, um, I do have a couple of PC Plus games I want to show off. So, as you can see, it seems to work pretty well. Um, you can't tell until you get far into the open world of the game. Um, but, like I say, it works quite well. Um, frame rates seem pretty solid. I think it's a solid 60 FPS on this. There's some games that do in 30 FPS, um, but more the um, AAA titles, I would say, of the Switch do run at a nice steady 60 FPS. So, I'll quit that, and what I'll do is I'll just go back, and then we'll head down to PC Plus. Oh, wrong button, right. And then... Newly added, we do have 
Aliens Fire Team Elite. Pretty cool game. Um, I've been meaning to add it for a few weeks now, um, but that's all added. It's in great. And then if we head down, we do have a new title, which is a Nickelodeon game. Oh, I went past. And we have Nickelodeon All Star Brawl. You know, like I say, games Lovely. should load in perfectly and exit. I do have this set up with the Xbox 360 controllers. I think I could set it up with the arcade sticks, no problem. Um, I don't have an arcade stick at the moment, so I can't set up these games until I get them copied over to an arcade unit. There is um, Kenna in the Wild Spirits, or Kenna and something in the Spirits, I believe, is getting added to the drive. There's also a couple of other games. There isn't a lot of space left on the unit, so I want to try and keep at least um, a 100 gig for new titles. New titles like um, Far Cry 6. Hopefully I'll have that soon added to the shark age unit as well as when um god of war gets released for the pc as well and um, that will also be added um i'm not going to get right into the gameplay of this so i'll just quit the game and that's it um what i'll quickly exit out of here and um, so i'll close hyperspin down and then let's just go ahead and take a look at that Marvel versus Capcom. No Marvel Ultimate Alliance, sorry. Um, right, so we want to head to Switch and then just check my database, make sure it's there. Uh, So I don't have it in my database, so that could be the reason why it's not loading. So let's head to media. And then we want Nintendo Switch. Images a lot, and then we should should have it in here um marvel ultimate alliance right so m a so it's going to be after mario kart so if we just copy that head down paste that in there then we just copy that text there and just paste it into there and hopefully, when I save this database, I don't have to do anything else. File, save, and then just go to games, audit the games collection, and then let's have a look. Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3. I'll just run it through Rocket Launcher rather than Hyperspin. And I've got it all set up as well, so customers can go ahead and get their own stuff um, and then add their own wheel art and stuff like that as well, if they wish to just add more of these on there. Um, I will into the future maybe a 24 terabyte build, um, which shouldn't be too long, to be honest, um, because I may just try and get my hands on a large collection of PS3s. Um, but what I was thinking is I will just likely, um, there's a seller on, um, the internet that does drives of just the PS3 collection. So I'd leave credit to them. Um, the PS3 collection is large. There's some stuff I want to check out, um, and maybe update the PS3 emulator just to fill up that drive a bit more. 
fill up a 24 terabyte and then um, in the future as switch stuff gets better and better then I will likely move over the switch stuff to the other drive and keep on the 16 terabyte add-on drive as PC games and then the old switch stuff and PS3 stuff will go on another drive so let's continue game and um, like I say this game isn't perfect um, it's probably one of the um, poorest running games and um, the videos the media and stuff the intros and um, don't get very well and um, you seem to have a black screen I can't change it to Nvidia I believe but if I change it to Nvidia settings the OpenGL then the game doesn't really run very well and um, a lot of graphical issues and stuff like that as for the um, Vulcan settings it seems to run okay I just grabbed the stone and thought of somewhere safe. This wall is structurally unsound. Way to go, dude. No cell can hold us. Looks like we just made bail guardians. But as you can see, it seems to run pretty well and um, frame rates are pretty good this terminal if we want to restore power to this dump like I say in in a few tougher scenes it does start getting quite glitchy um, and I believe it does drop between now 60 FPS down to uh, 55 and um, so you may see a bit of frame lag as a player what did i tell you you need cell doors this <laughs> like i say it's not perfect but it is playable um, so hopefully as um, Yuzu updates it becomes a bit better optimized and the gameplay is a lot smoother but like I say it's a cool game and it's well worth playing um, so let's quit that and then what I'll do before I end the video is I'll just double check to make sure it is working in hyperspin so as I've been looking there is a ton of games that do work on the switch a lot of them are repeats of Nintendo Wii U. I don't really want to get too many games that's already on the Wii U to then put on the Switch. Um, I just want some cool AAA titles on there and maybe some obscure titles. Um, some cool obscure titles. Um, so when it comes to maybe doing a 24 terabyte drive, I'll just get a big collection of it. But to be honest, I want to focus on the cooler titles for the system so let's have a look is marvel ultimate alliance 3 there yes and that should load um if we just hit here on there and um, there's also a bit on the theme on the bottom of the screen there that i want to change the um move some of the artwork for the theme itself over the left hand side and then um clean that up but other than that, it's looking great. It's got all the media, the videos and stuff, the um, wheel art, the videos, and the games work great. Um, there's one or two I want to tweak some settings on just, just to get a bit better performance. But other than that, everything's great. Um, and I'll keep you all updated on um, this build and future add-ons to this drive. 
Um, but like I say, there is ain't a lot of space left on the drive. Um, I do have extras on which I am going to delete off and move over to a different drive. Um, that's just all my um, editing stuff. Um, stuff with pinball and stuff like that. So there's around three, 400 gig there that I can play with. But there is a lot of new cool titles coming out. So I want to save that space for those titles. The Switch games are all right. Um, I'm more impressed with them. Um, but I, I want to focus on the PC stuff as well. Um, I know this has been well sought after. Um, and I've been pressured a little bit to get the Nintendo Switch stuff going on the show so this is it um so like share subscribe to the videos hit that notification bell and i'll catch us in the next one bye <laughs>